Hey everybody, so this is my setup for automating my coffee maker with an Arduino Nano Every. Uh, let me just walk you through how it works here. So there's three main components. This is obviously the Arduino Nano, uh, which runs the code and handles the inputs and outputs. This is my real-time clock module with a battery in it. That's basically what keeps track of time in real time. And then over here on the left is a relay, which is basically a switch that uh, runs the coffee maker, turning it on and off. I apologize for my uh, messy wiring here and my lack of really great uh, color coordination, uh, but let me show you how it's hooked up. Up on the top right corner here, that's digital pin 12 on the Arduino. And this is basically my main output that tells the coffee maker when to turn on. There's two different ways which that can be triggered, either when the real-time clock module decides that uh, the preset time has been reached and it turns on the coffee maker, or when I manually trigger this momentary switch right here. Um, so the output wire, that's this one, goes over this way, and you can see it splits off to two different ways in parallel with each other. Uh, one way is it goes through this resistor then over to this LED and to ground. Uh, so that's just so I have a visual indicator whenever the uh, system's telling the coffee maker to turn on. Um, but then the main output continues through this yellow wire in parallel with the LED, which goes over here into this white wire into the input pin of the relay there. So the real-time clock module is hooked up via I2C, and here this orange wire is the SCL clock wire, this yellow wire is the SDA data wire, and both of those are going to the SDA and SCL ports on the Arduino. Also, I have this black wire here going to ground on the breadboard, which is cre uh, connected to ground on the Arduino, and I have a plus five wire going to the uh, real-time clock, which is connected to the plus five output on the Arduino. Um, the other plus five output from the Arduino goes over here and to the input power for the relay. And then we also have a ground coming from the relay to the ground on the breadboard grounded into the Arduino. And I've just got this resistor here so that the LED, which has very little resistance, isn't just a short um, when it's activated. So this second green wire is for my manual input of the momentary switch. That goes from digital pin 11 on the Arduino here through the momentary switch, which is normally open, through this red wire into ground. And now the reason that goes to ground um, and not to positive is because I have my input um, programmed into input pull-up mode, which uses the internal pull-up resistor in the Arduino. Um, so that's basically so that the momentary switch doesn't float between zero and one. You'll be familiar with that if you've used buttons on Arduinos before. So when you press the button, it allows the uh, by default high setting to reach ground and trigger a low condition. So I'm gonna manually turn on the coffee maker by pressing this button and let's see what happens. You'll notice my indicator LED turned on and the LED here turned off and you may have heard a click in the video that was the relay switching. Now if I press the reset button on my Arduino up here, you heard the relay click again, the indicator light turned off and the input light switched again over here. So with my program having a low voltage output on this white wire, when I want the coffee maker to be turned off, that's considered an input signal when this input is connected to low voltage or ground. So that's why I have these wired into the normally closed because when the Arduino is outputting a basically a ground or a low voltage, it triggers this input 
switching the relay and opening the normally closed side, thereby breaking the circuit and disabling the coffee maker. If you wanted to do that differently, you could set up your program to where it outputs a high voltage when you want the coffee maker to be off. Then what you do is you'd switch this wire over to this connector and then this light would only be on when you want the coffee maker to be on. Um, it doesn't really matter which way that you do it. In this case, actually the disadvantage the way I'm doing it now is if the Arduino ever fails or loses power, the coffee maker will turn on. Actually, I see doing it this way as an advantage because then if anything upstream fails, I still wake up to coffee in the morning. So here's my overall setup. I've got the coffee maker's regular outlet plugged in as normal. And then I've got the Arduino plugged in here separately. Um, I'm gonna change that to where they both run off one plug. I'll have to do that by adding a AC-DC converter in to power the Arduino with five volts instead of uh, wall AC. Um, but then you can see the relay here. What the relay is doing is breaking or connecting these two wires, which are in series with my main switch here. So with this setup, the main switch no longer activates the coffee maker on its own. It sort of acts like a safety to arm and disarm it. And you'll notice I've got it wired in such a way that the indicator light within the switch still turns on um, when it's ready. Um, but right now the coffee maker is not hot, it's not running. It'll only actually turn on when the Arduino tells it to. But the indicator light tells you that it's ready to turn on. No light means it's safe. Even if the Arduino tells it to run, it won't, it won't get any power. So here's how I've got this set up wired into the actual coffee maker. Uh, up here is the switch on the outside. And these two black wires here are what comes off of the actual outlet plug. This red wire here um, from the factory is connected to this red wire down here. You can see these connections where I spliced in the two red wires heading to my relay. Um, so basically how this works is when the switch is in the off position, none of these leads are connected to each other. Um, but when you put the switch in the on position, um, you can think of the current as coming up through one of these black wires, it's AC current, so it doesn't really go around per se, but you can think of the current coming up through this black wire, down into the red wire, through my relay, back, up this way, into the heating element, where it then comes out the white wire, back up, and then down into the other wire on the wall plug. Now you can think of the indicator light on the actual switch as being in parallel with this red slash white wire loop, because even if my relay is effectively breaking this red wire, the current can flow up through one of the wall outlet sides, through the light, and down through the other outlet side if the switch is in the on position. So basically in order to wire a coffee maker like this, just look for the wire that goes to your heating element, cut it, and put your relay in there. Um, this setup would also work the same way in theory if I were to have cut this white wire instead of the red one, whichever is easier. This is the same circuit as before. I've soldered everything into this prototyping board here to make it more reliable and better connections. And I've left two extra leads open. This goes to VN and this goes to ground in case I want to put in an AC-DC converter in the future so that I don't have to power it from the USB on the Arduino. Real quick, here's what my code looks like. I'm using the RTC library um, up here. I'm calling out which pins are for what. Um, here is where I set what time I want the coffee to go off, 5.55 a.m. Uh, here's the setup loop, basic setup stuff. Um, if I have this variable reset set to one, 
and I plug it into the computer, it'll reset the time to be equal to the computer's compiler time at the time of uploading the code. And then here's the main loop with the logic. It checks what time it is, prints it to the serial, serial monitor. That's just so that I can verify it's working before I unplug it. Um, checks whether or not the button's being pressed checks if it has reached the set time yet and if so turn it on and then down here is for the toggle button if the button's pressed first of all it'll wait until the button's released before it does anything and then it changes the state of the output um, by toggling the button there here's a diagram i made of the circuit pause the video here if you want a closer look Here's what the final product looks like with all the electronics neatly tucked away in the base here. I can hit that button to toggle it on and off, or it will automatically come on at 5.55 a.m. every day, and hitting that switch will prevent it from turning on. And with the battery inside it, even if I unplug the coffee maker, it won't forget what time it is. Thank you so much for watching.